Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we shall celebrate the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to be to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. To the Israelites, God reveals himself as unique and without equal, yet close to his people. In response to this privileged experience of the one God, Moses says, The people are to be faithful to the Lord and keep his commandments. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, as now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created men upon the earth, asked from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking? from the midst of fire, as you did and lived? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors? all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and in that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today 
that you and your children after you may prosper and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of his by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Paul reminds us that the three persons of the Trinity are at work for our salvation. We become God's children and heirs with Christ and the Spirit who inspires us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you receive a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint ears with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Holy Gospel, white power yards. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Noong ako po'y bata, bata pa, naalala ko po ang aking tatay ay merong isang sasakyan na talagang sobrang mahal na mahal niya. 
parang niloloko namin si Papa paminsan-minsan para mas mahal mo pa yung sasakyan mo kaysa kay Mama. Ah. Kasi araw-araw talagang inaayos niya yon, nililinisan niya yon. Talagang sobrang love na love ni Papa yung sasakyan na yon. Isang lumang pick-up. Talagang inaalagaan niya yon. That at some point, for me, parang yung pick-up ni Papa ay naging, naging kamukha na niya. Sa sobrang pagmamahal ni Papa doon sa sasakyan niya, parang kamukha na niya. Na kapag nakikita ko yung sasakyan na yon, ang nakikita ko, yung tatay ko. Kasi sobra niyang mahal yung sasakyan na yon. And I was wondering, bakit kaya ganun? And was it something that is, you know, a, an isolated phenomenon? Isolated ba yung kaso na yon? And, and while, while I was searching and researching about this thing, I found out na universal pala yung, yung ganong experience. Na yung bang tipo, kapag ka mahal na mahal mo yung bagay, that you are really passionate to a thing, or you love someone so much, that you are able to communicate yourself and impress yourself to that thing, or that, to that thing that you do, or that the person whom you love. Na para bagang, you are creating your image to the one you love and to the thing that you are passionate of. No wonder, brothers and sisters, kapag ka merong mga infrastructures, and we know na merong isang taong sobrang nagbuhos ng kanyang buhay sa bagay na yon, sa infrastructure na yon, minahal niya sobra yung infrastructure na yon. It creates an image of him. Kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag na legacy. Kaya kami minsan sa aming mga structures dito, sa aming simbahan, sa aming kumbento, minsan may mga lugar kami na pinapangalan namin sa aming mga pari. Bakit? Eh, sobra silang nagbuhos ng kanilang buhay doon sa, sa bagay na yon. Talagang binuhos nila yung kanilang talents, yung kanilang preaching sa bagay na yon. Kaya we found it, parang sakto lang na ipangalan sa kanila. May legacy. Bakit? Eh, mahal na mahal nga yung bagay na yun eh. Kaya nga minsan, nung kami nasa seminary, yung, yung aso ng aming formator, mahal na mahal niya. O minsan, yun yung nakikita namin pagbubuntangan ng galit namin sa formator namin. Kasi hindi namin siya ma, 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 mapagalitan. Eh di yung aso niya pinapagalitan namin kasi nga doon siya nagre-reflect yung image niya doon sa aso niya. Kaya nga siguro, ang tawag doon sa magsing-irog na nagpapakasal, nag-iisang dibdib, eh magkabiyak. Iisang buo. Pero magkabiyak. Iisang reality. Bakit? Eh mahal nila yung isa't isa. They're able to impress their own image to each other, nag exchange sila ng image ng bawat isa. O, kaya hindi ka magugulat yung minamahal mo, parang nakikita mo na sa sarili mo. Ay, yung nagmamahal sa'yo, nakikita mo na rin sa sarili mo. nag exchange ng images, nagkakaroon ng communication ng, ng sarili. Ano? You are able to impress your person to the other. Because of love. Kaya ganun daw pala yun. It is something very universal. It is something universal. O kaya nga maganda tingnan natin. Saan ba natin ini-impress yung sa mga sarili natin? Ano? Sa mga anong mga bagay ba o kanikaninong tao ba? Ano? Magandang tanongin yun. E bakit kaya ganun? Bakit ko naman nasabi yung bakit ko naman na-share sa inyo yun? Because I think my dear brothers and sisters, this is one way that we are able to see and that we can see the Holy Trinity. Our God, the three persons in one. The Holy Trinity is a community of love. And that because of this love, they are able to project their image of each person to each other. 
Pero hindi katulad nung pag-i-impress ng mga images natin sa mga bagay o sa ibang tao. Kasi crude yun. Pag dito sa Holy Trinity, it is something that is perfect image. When they impress their own image, when God the Father impress His own image and communicate His image to the Son, it's a perfect image that we are able to say, all of us faithful are able to say that the Son and the Father is one. Kayang-kaya natin sabihin, in every manner, iisa. Kung nasasabi nga natin yun sa, sa relationship na mag-asawa, di ba? How much more the perfect love of God, the perfect community of love, the Trinity. Pwede nating tingnan yung Trinity na ganun. It is a communication of the image of one another, but in a perfect manner. But how does this affect us? How does this affect us? Ano naman kinalaman natin doon sa Trinity na yun? How do it affect our very own lives? You see, whenever we talk about love, true love is something that is always diffusive. It is something that includes, rather exclude. At dahil merong totoong pagmamahalan doon sa Trinity na yon, ang pagmamahalan nila goes out to the creation. And who is that creation? Everything here that we see. You are the creation of God. Your brothers and sisters, everyone who we see is the creation of God. Which tells all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, that the one you see, at your right, at your left, at your back, bears that image of God. The mark of God is impressed on that person. No wonder why in Genesis we say that. We bear the image of God. No wonder why, at the end of creation, God said, after creating man, my creation is good. And then Jesus, in the Gospels, when he was called to be good, the master who is good, ang sabi niya, those you call good is God. Kaya if we, as creation of that love, bears that image of God. Kaya napakaganda ng theology ng Holy Trinity because it definitely affects us. Meron ngang isang writer na sinasabi niya, the, the Trinity somehow is parang ang layo-layo sa, sa atin, ano? Parang, parang nga sa mga preachers daw, sabi, it is, this is a nightmare. Pagka Holy Trinity Sunday na, nightmare yan na preaching. Kasi hindi natin alam, paano ba natin i-decipher yung mystery na yon. But actually, the Trinity is something that is very basic to our life. It is at the core of our person. Na ang image rin ng isang, ng isang, ng isang, uh, a Catholic na, na theologian is ang tayo daw talagang immersed na immersed doon sa reality ng Trinity. Natalo pa niya yung isda na nasa dagat. Kung yung isda na bubuhay doon sa dagat, yun yung immersion niya. Yung immersion natin sa Trinity, mas matindi pa. Bakit? Eh dahil nga, we bear that image of the community of love. We bear that image of God in each and every one of us. Kaya ganun na lamang yung dignidad natin. Ganun na lamang tayo kahalaga. Kahit sino pa tayo. Mahirap 
mayaman, mabait, makasalanan, nakatatak sa bawat isa sa atin. Ang Diyos na santatlo na iisa. So how should this affect us? We, as creation of God, we who bear that mark of God, that image of God. I can see one, it should affect us on how we relate with others. Kagaya ng tanong ko kanina, I think it would always be good for us to ask, how do we impress our image to others? How do we show our love to others? How do we make our mark to others? Kapag ba tayo nakikirelate sa tao, Sino ba yung ini-impress natin sa kanila o kinocommunicate natin sa kanila at naiiwan sa kanila? Father, yung sarili ko, that is good na nakakaiwan tayo ng, ng alaala sa mga tao. But hopefully, hindi lang tayo. Sana pagkatapos natin makirelate sa tao, sa ibang tao, bawa sa ating mga mahal sa buhay, sana sasabihin nila sa atin, Naramdaman ko ang Diyos sa iyo. That we are able to leave that mark, that image of God within us to others. Sana ganun yung impression. Huwag naman sana na pagkatapos natin makirelate sa tao, ang nakikita nila sa atin, demonyo tayo at sakit tayo sa buhay nila. Huwag naman sana. So that is one. We ask ourselves, paano ba tayo nag impress ng image to others? Sa mga anak natin, sa mga katrabaho natin, sa asawa natin, sa mga tao sa paligid natin. How do we impress ourselves? Do we leave that image of God to them? Siguro pangalawang bagay na pwede natin consider sa, sa, sa celebration na ito is, how do we see others? Do we still see that image of God sa ibang tao? That because they too are impressed and the mark of the image of God is with them, natutulungan ba natin sila? Niangat ang dignidad nila? O sinisira lang din natin yung pagkatao nila? Do we still respect that image of God in others? O baka naman, wala din talaga tayong pakialam sa kanila. The Holy Trinity calls all of us to communicate the love of God to others as we are able to receive His love the love of the Trinity through our very own lives. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Now together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. God is our Creator and Father. He has given us His Son to be our life. Through His Holy Spirit, let us raise our voices as we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our church leaders be docile to the voice of the Holy Spirit, faithful to the way of Christ, and diligent in listening to the divine word and in approaching the wellspring of grace. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May the Holy Spirit strengthen the leaders of our country in their commitment to promote justice, peace, and truth. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May consecrated men and women show forth their love for the poor and the oppressed. May they be one with, uh, with those in need and abound in works of mercy. May they be compassionate toward all. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who are suffering because of sickness, poverty, and difficulty in their relation relationships be sustained by the love of God and through the care of their families and friends. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May the Lord bless the efforts and initiatives of all the parishioners who compose the parish and BECs. May the spirit of collaboration bring us into a fruitful communion with the Father. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May our departed brothers and sisters be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal life. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Almighty Father, you have revealed your love to us through your Son and sent the Holy Spirit among us. Receive our prayers and grant that we may come to the inheritance held out to us in Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fog, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis' assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace be Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since you are children of God, God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of His Son, the Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Please stand. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of, of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ, 
our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po'y magpapasalamat sa ating lector, commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic ministers at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwit na wabaunin niyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles our devotees and pilgrims be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.